We would have just come out here, got out, out of the back of the money bus and through the search procedure and we'd be able to walk this through here. The screw would have had your, would have come with you and would have had your, uh, like it's like a pass with, with your photo and obviously your security material on it and he, he, he would have escorted us uh, into the visits here. Depending on, uh, they'd have told you which visit you were going to, which room. Well, they got these uh, the present corridors that they had. Obviously, the lights and that would have been on at this stage. Uh, you may have passed wireless prisoners or whatever at that time, and I, I think there was a, an understanding that there would be no, no violence or hassle between loyalists or Republicans on visits, you know. The visits themselves would have been segregated. Up the stairs here then, and you went into your room. Yeah, when I got uh, transferred back from England, you know, the visits here, you know there's a big difference. Uh, the visits here at that time were, were less oppressive. Uh, the screw come in, told you what number you were sitting at, and he went and stood behind the glass there, so there was no screws or, or people standing over you. You, know, you had privacy in, in your visit. And you know, it was a great relief to have that there. In England, like it was very impressive with cameras and screws standing over you, and you know your your family was also hassled a lot. So it was more relaxed at that time. It obviously reflected the times coming up to the ceasefire and that you know. Well, you just you just your family came in and sat down beside you, and you you would have brought out you know bars of chocolate or crisps if children was up and, and lemonade and stuff like that. You know, you just sat down and sort of more or less done your own thing. There was no nobody standing over you or no screws. You know, stand over you. Uh, you know, you just got on with it and talked about what you talked about, you know.
yeah, coming back here and these visits was, was a, a great relief more, more for my family because when I was in England, you know, it involved flights and you know, most days over there in, in rural locations and you know, finding places and finding bed breakfast. Plus the oppressive nature of, of, of the jails over there and, and what, they, what you know, people had to go through, the airports and that. So coming back here, you know, for me, was a great relief for my family more because we're only an hour and a half down the road in Derry. You know, and uh, it sort of helped and it would help your, your long-term relationships as well, you know.